All right, Izzy, how much water did you just rush down our flood table? I did five. Five liters. How long are we doing the counter for? Oh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. What are we testing in this first trial? We are testing... No, what's in those bags? Oh, so um, there is sand in our plastic sand bag. All right, and how many trials are we going to do? Three, and for plastic. And we pull it away, the bucket away, at exactly 30 seconds. Good job. She just pulled it away. Now we're going to measure it, right? Yes. All right, Izzy, grab that bucket. Head on over to our testing table. Our graduate <laughs> cylinder, which is 1,000 milliliters. Okay, the higher up you do it, remember how much easier it is. Oh, you grab it just in time. That's what mommies do. All right. No water, no spit. All right, perfect. So there we go. Last trial number three of the sandbag. Keep going. I'm timing it on my phone. It's okay. So we are going for how many seconds? What's in this? What's in the sandbag? Mulch inside and plastic sandbag around it, tied in a zip tie. And we are doing 30 seconds on the stopwatch, and then we pull it away. And then what do we do, Izzy? We measure it. So come on over here. And as you can see, it did quite good. So we measure yeah. it in a, a thousand milliliter graduated cylinder, and that's mulch. Make sure we don't spill it. That's what we got. Yay! Not that easy. So what were the results of your findings after you tested, what did you test? We tested sand and plastic sandbag and a burlap sandbag and then potting soil, plastic and burlap, small pebbles and plastic and burlap, and mulch and plastic and burlap. And the first place goes to potting soil and it's very, 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 very surprising. Then sand, then small pebbles, yep. then mulch. So the one that let the least water through was soil. And but most people use sand, which now we can help them, and now they can use soil so they have less water going in their house. Okay, Izzy, so if you were to do an experiment and kind of tag off of this and do something a little different, what would you elaborate on? Um, I would do garbage bags, maybe the public plastic bags, or just regular plastic bags, because people don't have that much money. And if they don't have that money, much money, then why not use garbage bags? Or plastic bags from the Dollar Tree or Publix. So you're saying if they can't afford to buy commercial bags like the sandbags we use or the commercial burlap bags, which can be kind of pricey, um, that they could possibly, and you could test different products like recyclable bags from a grocery store or the cloth recycle bags or even garbage bags that they have at home? Yes. And see if maybe that would be efficient? Mm-hmm. And if they don't have sand, 
What else could they use? Maybe they do it in the backyard. Oh my goodness. So this could probably save lives, right? Yes. And so people that maybe don't have money could still protect their homes? Yes. Oh, I love that. All right, thanks, Miss Isabella. I think you did a great job.